We're entering the Hot Wheels Museum, and today's mission is to make room in the Lesney Superfast and Large 164 scale truck drawer of the uh, nine drawer dresser I have down here, which has been long since stuffed full of various things, Hot Wheels and some big loose trucks. Well, thanks to these two trucks, for now I need to put them in my storage system with the other trucks and as you can see well this drawer is completely filled to capacity and in fact i think the bottom is about to go out of it either way there's no room for these two trucks we have gotta get this drawer out hopefully it doesn't split on me as it uh comes out of here because i figure it weighs about 40 pounds oh it's a good thing it's the old tongue and groove construction the drawer emptying has begun. Sorry, I lost a little bit of footage there, but that's okay. We're going to look at everything that's come out so far and continue to film what's left. Mostly Majorette, Lesney, a little bit of Husky, and even some Dinky in here. Some other odd brands, but for the most part, Matchbox Majorette seems to be what's come out. Some really cool rigs, as you can see. That uh, dump truck down with the snow plow there, that's a dinky. These big trucks that we're looking at now, the Honda Racing Team. We're going to get everything spread out a little better as this video goes on. These Matchbox Super King trucks are the most recent of my Matchbox collection that we just saw coming out of the drawer. So we'll take a closer look at them. You can tell by the plastic single piece wheels that they are from the pretty much early 70s to maybe early 80s. And uh, as we go in for a closer look, we can see that there's some nice ramp type trucks that would have carried, I'm pretty sure, little plastic logs, which I don't have with the truck. This is the K13-20 DAF truck. Up on the hill, I believe this is a Scammel crane. It has a rotating crane part. And that also can come down for transport. Eight wheels. This one is indeed the Scammel, made in England, K12, 1971. Some more Scammel trucks. These two delivery trucks, I believe. I'm going for a precise name, but they are really cool. All metal box on this with some transparent pane windows in the top. And metal sliding doors on both sides, gaining access to the truck. This one is uh, apparently was owned by Peter. You can see the pencil there. I've got it upside down, so I can't read it. And this is the 1971 release K14 Freightliner. Peter's Freightliner. This one here has a different style box. It's actually a removable container. It's also metal no it's plastic this one is all plastic and it has opening plastic doors on the back to gain access to that boy it's hard doing this with one hand and no tripod there we go not sure if that would have been secured better from the factory and let's look at this military painted truck next has an opening hood and I believe it would have come with a trailer small crack in this one the K115 1973 Ford LTS it looks like service truck and over here what is this truck here I've got four of this a scammel I've got one in metallic blue Pulling a gold trailer. I've just placed this tractor. I don't know that this was the set. Probably wasn't. Look at these tractors after. As I do have a couple other tractors to look at. But here's a Scammel in orange. Metallic red. And another one in really nice shape. That's metallic red. 1973. Does not have a K designation. Oh, there it is. K17-23. And the tractor, one of these tractors, which has rubber treads, 
K17. There you go. So the fact that this one says K17-23 tells me that these two pieces might have gone together. Let me know if I'm completely mistaken. I'm just guessing at this point. I really don't know my full history on Matchbox vehicles from this era. In the background, we've got the race car transporter. K number eight, I believe, for that one. K7 race car transporter. And we've got this interesting little crane. The movable bucket. Rotates, lifts up and down. Pretty neat little piece. 1970. K1, it looks like. All right, I think that's all those era of Matchbox trucks. Let's look at the older ones now. Almost forgot, that is a K3 for the Yellow Dozer. Among my favorite trucks in this vintage Matchbox collection are these 1960s released Guy Warrior tractor-trailer trucks. And they're each able to carry up to four vehicles. They have drop-down ramps, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. Dually tires on everything but the front steering wheels. And these would be period correct little Lesney cars, appropriate scale. This part slides down. It's got the ramp that tilts up and locks. Roll that Lincoln Continental. Ooh, it's a bit of a steep, steep movement there. And the Studebaker Lark Wagon is next. Over to this one here, a completely different paint job. Farnborough Misham Car Auction Collection. Probably saying that completely wrong. But some interesting little matchbox cars on this one. A tight fit getting them out. I actually had to put them in from the side. And, of course, we looked at those Dodge Tipper trucks. Just amazing what kind of build quality we got in the toys, well, probably 60 years ago now. I guess it's not that amazing. Check out all the steering components. Simulated hydraulics, metal tippers. And then all those wheels. How many tires do you count on that? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 40... 42 tires on that model. A whole bunch of very crusty Matchbox Lesney trucks from probably the mid to late 1960s. Quite an assortment here. I'm not going to be able to remember all of the names or designations. So we'll just look at them all and then give them a quick roll, a quick flip over if we can. Figure out what they all are. A couple are just older versions of trucks we've looked at, such as the Scammel in the background. Another crane, but with the older style wheels on it, not those one-piece plastic ones. Probably one of my second favorite pieces is this big truck here. And it's got a big complicated name, so I'll just roll it around first to show you what we've got here. It's quite a cool truck. And then on the bottom, you can see it's got these doors that open up to release the cargo. Likely a grain cargo, perhaps a gravel truck. Matchbox M4. Made by Lesney. And this truck here, again, a rivet holding it together. This one is called the Major Pack. Number M4. So this is quite an old one. No date on it. Oh, there's more to it. Fruhoff Hopper. Not familiar with that type of truck. I do have one parts truck, just like it in the back. But it's missing one of its trailers. And then over beside it, another parts truck for the fire truck. But I've got a nicer version, so we'll look at that in just a moment. Before I forget it, we've got this Fodden. Pieces of a dump truck, I think. Fodden Dumper Truck. Number five, uh, it's got a designation in there, but I can't really see it. Larger wheels on this one than some of the other models. These wheels are not compatible with, say, the ones on this truck. 
This is a really cool piece, this little dump truck here. Cleansing services. Very cleverly designed refuse truck that probably was more function, slightly more functional when new, but still, after all these years, somewhat functional. And that one is upside down. Number K7. I'm seeing K7 quite a bit, so I don't know how much that's really going to help anyone in finding these trucks, but at least having some other descriptions as well, such as refuse truck. Really cool crane here. Now, this crane doesn't move. It does have the hook. BP. British Petroleum. Matchbox service. Very cool old truck. Look at all the windows on this thing. Oh, we lost a tire. A Fodden Breakdown Tractor, number 12. Another interesting truck with some rounded windows is this Ready Mix Concrete Truck, 1970. Oh, number 13, no date. And I've got three of those, various conditions. Some have the steel, just unpainted wheels, and some have the red wheels, seem to be more common. Now these steel wheels are actually metal wheels. So it's probably an older version as they these ones are plastic. There's only a few of my trucks that have metal wheels like that, metal hubs, but they seem to hold the tires better. Then we've got this dump truck, which we kind of looked at. And that is a K4. And that is a king size number four Leyland Tipper. Copyright 1969. This one is a little worse for wear. Number eight. Scammel 6x6 six six tractor. What a beast. Four doors on it. Huge compartments in the back for storing and towing. Interesting to see one of those trucks in real life. And the tow trucks again. We've got the air horns, lights on the roof, SO stickers. This one's got the big wheels on it, and there is a lot of them. It's also upside down. Number two, Scammel Heavy Wreck Truck. So Matchbox did a lot of Scammel trucks. What about this one here? Number 15, Kent Brigade familiar fire department that we've seen in the Lesney vehicles of this time. Number 15, Merriweather Fire Engine. Big heavy piece. Multiple extension. It's got a multiple extension ladder. And uh, it rotates. The ladders are usually missing on the played with versions of this truck. Okay, I think that covers that lot. We've still got more to look at. More car haulers. These are the K11 DAF car transporter truck. And as you can see, multiple generations of vehicle. Got the super fast era, mid 1970s, with uh, just an assortment of cars that I have for my collection from Matchbox for it. These ones holding five vehicles, unlike the Guy Warrior that we looked at previously. This K11 DAF has the old style wheels, probably released in the early 70s, maybe late 60s, but otherwise the same. Stickers are different, grill color is different, maybe not exactly the same, but same truck essentially overall with uh, all the features that you can see. Drop, a drop tailgate type thing, a drop ramp I guess I should say, and then you can... Move your car out. Now the only thing with this version of the DAF, unlike the Guy Warrior, is there are no stops to hold the cars from rolling along here. So during play, all these cars basically get into a, a bumper smash up, at least on the top row anyways. The bottom are a little more secure. And two parts trucks in the background. One that desperately needs to be cleaned up. Not sure how that got missed. And a whole slew of other various Matchbox vehicles. We've got some of those cranes out there. So let's just look at each of these quick. And what is this? A half track. K11 
M3 half track APC. Guy's missing his head. It's already been blown off. Rifle's a little bent. Tracks are missing. Here's an older tractor missing quite a bit of stuff off the front of it. K3, the Hatra tractor shovel with smashed windows. And over here, these cranes, pretty cool. Rotating bits. Number 14, Matchbox Series 1. The Taylor Jumbo Crane. Those ones had stickers on them as well. Sticker on this one's actually in pretty good shape. Then we've got this cool tractor all the way back here. Let's bring that one forward. Very nicely detailed, no interior on it. Not sure if that's missing. Number 10, king size. Tractor shovel. So big, uh, big description there. Looks like it might be falling apart. Might be missing a rivet or two. Well, it's been a little while since I've seen these trucks out in their full glory. The uh, Ferrari team truck is from my childhood. I think it was about 10 or 12 when I got that one. This one I picked up in an eBay auction, came all the way from the UK with all those other trucks you saw in the drawer. It's in mint condition. And it's got these really cool little panes that come down. And then on the back of the truck, it has a ramp door, which is where the uh, race car is stored. We'll just leave it in there for now, as we have so many trucks to look at. The Ferrari team truck, same deal. Let's just see if we can pop that door open so you can see the, the race car a little better. Very cool. Such nice details on these trucks. These big mirrors, uh, some suspension, a lot of metal parts. Big old majorette trucks. And of course the Rodeo Texas horse carrier with looks like living accommodations or quarters in the forward cabin. These do come with some plastic horses as well. A drop down ramp on the each side of the tractor's trailer. And of course those really neat stickers. Out in the back row, got that Texaco truck, which features an opening hood. It's missing its uh, exhaust pipes. And the cement mixers. Well, this one has a bent wheel. The wheels are actually quite important because that's what turns the uh, this part here. There's actually a gear on the bottom. Right there on the back of this wheel, as you can see, kind of, that turns another gear. Quite clever, actually. Directional chute. It's got a lot of cast metal on it. And the ramp truck, I think I've got these cabs mixed up. I think that truck goes with this trailer, and it would have had, as I said, a tractor on it. This one actually has a tilting cab over. It's an older majorette truck showing an engine. And oftentimes they don't put much information on these trucks. Let's just go in for a closer look at these cool horse trailers. Three horses in there. Ascot stalls, it says, for this Dodge truck. As you can see, different colors. In the background, those green, whatever they were. With uh, unknown tractor that comes with it. Uh, these these things lift off like that. And these uh, little trailers. Couldn't find that little truck I was talking about for it, but here's a 1 100th or 187th scale. Anyways, Matchbox Kenworth. It would show the size of the truck that you would need. And then in the background, we've got this dinky, which is probably more like 150th, 150th scale, maybe. It is a Fodden dump truck made in Macau Meccano dinky super toys pretty cool piece obviously pretty well loved and the final video or car in this video is this weird little junk car that I picked up at a flea market ah it's an opal all right
that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video took a little longer than i thought it was going to take a lot more trucks in there than met the eye when i first opened it up so now i gotta deal with that all right stick around for more videos coming happy hunting